is too close. Hey guys. Oh, that's a little too close. No, this is nice. Hey. Why is it not focusing? Hello, everyone. Um. Welcome. Welcome to episode eighteen. Welcome to episode. Como se dice? It's not focusing. There you go. Como se oh. dice 18 in español? Bienvenidos. Um, how do you say that? How do you say 18 in on We're both gentrified Mexicans. On, oh, We're both or, white Mexicans basically. No habla español. How do you say 18 in Spanish? I'm like drawing a blank. I suddenly don't know De how to si say ocho? I suddenly don't know how to say 16, 17, 18. 18? I don't know. I don't that know Spanish. Diez. Yeah, anyway, wait. Is it 18? I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. so sorry. Well, this is welcome not to hard. our 18th episode. Luckily, we We're do not market now. to our... You got legalized? We're 18. Yeah. Woo. Right. Right. Luckily, we don't market to our Spanish-speaking audience, so welcome everyone who speaks English. Um, damn, really singling out a group. I know. We should do a whole episode in Spanish now. Anyways, welcome to our 18th episode. Mm, I'm learning Spanish, though. We totally missed a week, and we know, um, but we're back and we're closer. We're closer than ever. Than ever. I don't know. Um, Are we? Yeah. Wait, I actually should not have gone that close because I used, oh. I um, did my face routine this morning and. You did? Yeah. Well, and I didn't change. Did I change anything this morning? No, I don't think I changed anything this morning. And for some reason it left my face like red-ish. My face looks the exact fucking same. Weird. Just like, just like in general, like overall red. Not getting that. It's okay. Um, I see it. I'm um, I'm sorry that you feel that your, your face is red. Thank you. But now it looks good. Thanks. Jeez. Um, I got a haircut. Period. Don't, don't like, but it's whatever. So. Also. That's, that's what's new. Also. Happy what? birthday. Oh yeah. It was my birthday yesterday. You. I don't want to say the date because. I just don't want to say the date. Okay, that's fine. Actually, no. It was the twenty second of January. Right. Happy birthday. I don't want to say the. I don't want to say the year. Okay. Because no I don't worries. want people to know how old I am. I am twelve. <laughs> so um, you're. Nah, I'm just kidding. I was gonna say it. <laughs> how do you feel? Feel good. I hate that question. I know people were asking me because I had like a barbecue at my parents' house. Yeah. Because they have a big house, so we had everyone there, and um, everyone was asking me like, "Do you feel twenty six? Like, you just said your age. <laughs> anyway, they were asking me, you're, do you feel this? <laughs> you're so... Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, listen. That lasted, what, two I can't minutes? be this perfect all the time, okay? Oh, that was too good. Uh, okay. Anyways, they're asking me, you feel this old, dude? Do you feel this old? And I'm like, bro, I've only been this old for, like, not even 24 hours. How yeah. would I feel? I feel like... You don't really feel your age until like half. So like if I'm born in January, by like June, I'll maybe I'll be like, oh, yeah, like I'm feeling like, you know, or maybe I won't at all. I don't know. Yeah. There's some years where I don't at all. I mean, I act like I'm fucking. How old do I act? Like you're 12. I'm 12. <laughs> yeah. I'm 12. Aisa acts like she's 82. I do. <laughs> I'm a granny. Um, see, and that's the other thing. It's like. I, sometimes I don't want to be my but age. I don't you know? feel eighty-two. Does that make sense? You do things that. But I, I may act like it, but I don't. No, nah, like you it. act like you're like forty-seven. That's when people have their life together. You pretty much have your life together. I kind of. You do. I kind of do. Yeah, it's like, the whole like. In my 20s, like, not having my life together is such, like, a Twitter thing. But when you step back and, like, step out of your own fucking body and, like, look at your life, you're like, hmm, 
fuck, I, I kind of do have my life together. Yeah. Which is the case. Yeah. Like, I stopped... Like, that's not my life. Like, on Twitter, like, everyone likes to say that. It's like, you know, don't have my life together, just living, just vibing. Twitter is a it's fucking like, yeah. funny place. It is a funny place, but it's like, no, nah, we have our shit together. And we're very young. We have a successful podcast. We're doing successful, successful things, you know? Right. For our age, you know? Right. Oh my, oh my God. <laughs> you're being weird. You're being weird. No, you're being weird. Anyways. Should um, talk about the fight we had so or no? What fight did we It wasn't a fight. It was just... No. No what? You don't want to talk about it? No. Oh, okay. Do you, you wanted to talk about it? Maybe later. Okay, wait, let's talk about it. No, I just no, did, maybe later, off camera. I was just, you know, wanting to keep this episode, like, a little bit lighthearted. Okay, yeah, yeah it'll be lighthearted. Okay, after. Well, no, like, now we have to talk about it. No, no, we don't want, have to. I don't want to gatekeep from them. Nah, we're gatekeeping. No, let's not gatekeep. I don't want to talk about it on gatekeep. camera. <laughs> well, now I want to talk about it on camera. So. Well, who am I to stop you? Well, wait, so, so my thing was. <clears throat> she has a thing. Well, no, no, no. Okay, wait. Say, say your, say your little. No, go ahead. No, no, because I don't want to talk about it. But go ahead. Okay, then let's not talk. No, about but it. you want to talk about it, so on camera. So let's. No. Okay. Now you're making it sound like, I no no no. no. We don't have to talk about this if you don't want. To. No, I, I want to talk about it, but you were like, let's talk about it on camera. I'm like, I'm fine with it, not talking about, it, about it on camera, no. but. You were already bringing it up. Yeah, I know. But then you were like, no. And I was like, okay. Well, I just wasn't expecting to talk about it at all. So it kind of just took me by surprise. Well, I was thinking of things that like happened. <laughs> probably like, what the fuck is yeah, going no, on? I was thinking of things that happened like between us or like us together that I could talk about, you know, since we missed a week. And that was one of the things that came up. And I was like, in my head, I was like, oh, should we talk about it? Okay. But then let's talk about it. Okay. So we were basically streaming. And I maybe hadn't heard from Aisa in a couple of days, whatever. And I asked her, like, "That's not true." We were, had played. We true? had literally played like a couple of days before that. No, but I'm talking about like I haven't heard like about the podcast from you. Like I, but I don't know because I feel like sometimes like I'm talking to you, but like sometimes you're not there. That happens a lot of times yeah. with everyone. Like, it's not just a you thing. Like, I just disassociate. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I used to disassociate it hard. And I hit a boiling point and I asked her if she even cared about this podcast. No, you didn't ask me. I, like, overheard you. N you didn't overhear me. I knew you were still on. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. I swear to God. I pinky swear. Joey, I knew still on. no, you didn't. Because I, I lagged out and then I logged back into the lobby. Your name popped up and I said it. Yeah, but you acted like I wasn't there. Yeah, I know. Because I was talking to Jackie. So you were just like talking as if I wasn't there? I was just saying it. Yeah. Like out loud. Okay. What? No, I believe you. I just did... Uh, Obviously, from my point of view, didn't. bro, that's kind of fucked up. If I'm like talking about you when you're not there, that's why. That's how I came into the comp. That's what yeah. it made it look like. That's no, why I was. That's what kind of like. No, because I even thought I was like so confused. No, I, was I was like, like damn, what the she fuck? probably like, thinks that I was talking about her behind her back. That's literally how it made it seem. <laughs> and then like I was streaming as well, so I was like, okay, like what is going on? Like, yeah. Anyways, y'all should tune into our streams because yeah, this is why <laughs> we promote that shit because like some shit happens on our streams that don't that, you know like it's like sometimes like this. This is kind of was like unexpected. Some shit happens like that on our on the stream too. While yeah, we're playing. Yeah. Um. So you're like, well, sometimes I wonder if she even cares about doing the podcast anymore. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I roll. Why the I roll? Because but like, do you know what? Okay. Yes. No. Okay. No. Well, no. Okay. Here's the thing. Okay. From for me, fuck. This is like so. It's so annoying because this podcast probably made like my entire 2022. We talked about so much. We got closer, and I, and 
I hate that sometimes I can't put that into words and actions. <laughs> <laughs> No, and so, or, and then I got my schedule, I think that day, and I was scheduled 46 fucking hours, so I was, I wasn't mad, but I was, like, already, do you ever just put yourself somewhere in the future and you like men are mentally there i was already mentally tired i don't even know if what i'm saying is like making sense it's right resonating now. with somebody it's resonating i understand with okay okay Th that's all that matters right now because you're who i'm talking to so yeah and so <sighs> i don't know what i'm trying to say here it's like you were already like i was already there so i was just like already over what do you mean, it. like you were already like over the week? Yeah. Like, I was like, what? It was, I don't even know. Anyways. Hey, guys. Yeah, but I can't live inside your head. Like, I know. That's why I said, like, it, it, it's so frustrating for me. And I, like, in, like, now that I have gotten closer to not just you, but like Ash and Jaxie too. So my actions like affect them as well, you know? You think you've gotten closer to them? Yes. Compared to literally like for like what our friendship has grown to, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, over the course of like years, but I mean like I don't know. They're just like, how do how do we know? You know, it's like that sort of thing. Yeah, but and then I also feel like there's always like, like I'm always doing something wrong. Well, this is something you consistently do, though. It's literally the one thing. What? You like disassociate and isolate yourself, and if I don't reach out, then I don't hear from you. I know, but I told you. This is something that I do and I don't know how to stop it. And I don't just do it with you. I've, I've literally done it to my sisters too. I, I don't know. Yeah, but those are your sisters. They're always going to be your sisters, right? But I'm saying if but I'm like doing it. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm saying if I'm doing it to them, they're the last people who yeah, I would do it to. you can do it to them and they're always going to be there. So it doesn't matter. But like, in my head, so are you all. Yeah, but not, maybe not. Which scares me sometimes. Well, 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 then that's on you because I don't feel that way. No, I'm saying eventually maybe I'll just get tired of putting in all the energy and stuff. You know what I mean? I guess. You know, I mean, circling back to like n me like feeling like I was doing something wrong. You have something to say about me like n posting and ghosting too. What is that? What's posting? Posting what? Well, like whenever uh, I wasn't paying attention to the numbers in the comments, I oh, had yeah, no. Yeah, I yeah. actually had well, like one or not one or two. Like two people tell me what I did was fine and normal. Like the way I handled it, that is the way I should have probably handled the first video. That blew up. You should handle it that way, but also the part that's missing is like acknowledging maybe the success of it that no, we can share together. Yeah, I know, but you would like because you can do you both. Would, no, but you would tell me the numbers, and then I would go check the app. You wouldn't respond. Like, no, I'd be like, "Oh shit!" Like maybe once that happened. Th you messaged me what twice? A probably. Lot. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Joey, I did. Okay. Because we were blowing up like by the second. For I that one, like, no, I that one like took like that one. That one grew in like days. No, but because I was a, like, damn, no, I checked that last night. That's crazy. No, We're already period, at this number. There was a period where it was like, like going off like a motherfucker. Then, but you weren't like consistently updating. Like, and I'm not saying you have to be. I'm just, I don't even know. I was though. Okay. Anyways. Um. Anyway, so then I yeah, so then on the stream. That's crazy. Damn, I knew you were going to think that, too. What? 
that I was like talking behind your back because I totally wasn't. Well, why would you? Why would you like say it like that then? I don't know. I was on drugs. But the way that I like the content of what I said was true and real. I get that. But maybe the way that I approached it wouldn't have been how I would have approached it had I not been on the gummy. So that's what got fucked up. But like the content was there. But. But no, it's like I I I love doing the podcast and like I feel like it's not just doing it that is is the thing. It's like it's it's the the planning and the like it's all part of it. And it's like I feel like I'm doing that shit by myself, you know? That's what I was feeling at the time. That's why Yeah, I but that you up. Because there's more you to just act like like just, I wasn't in San Antonio for like three like three days and that is why I got scheduled the 46 hours because I and I did I haven't had a day off in 14 days yeah but like I wasn't gonna like like force that shit on you because you weren't feeling good what do you mean like you're saying that you want to force what shit on me like to film like hey let's do this let's do it because you weren't feeling good yeah but we still filmed We could have done more had you like been like up, but I just was like, I, I barely felt that we should do that one. I didn't, I didn't want you I to didn't f- think so. I mean, I wanted I to wa- film. I didn't want you to like, and, be like all, I had like, a sexy raspy voice. <laughs> you did, but I didn't want you to feel all shit, you know, like, cause you're being on camera and you're like, ah, I feel gross. Like, I don't, I don't know. I just, that doesn't count. That does though. Cause I, oh my God. What do you mean? Mm, what no, do you mean that doesn't count? Well, no, like I'm not counting any of that because, like, you were you genuinely were sick. Yeah, but f- I could have been like, let's cancel. Yeah, I'm sick. Yeah, that would have been fine too. But I feel like you also would have had something to say then. No, because you were fucked up. Like you actually were fucked up. The main reason I was like, oh, okay, this is cool is because I <laughs> I really thought that, like, okay, like, like I wanted to take you to the doctor, like, not gonna lie. I would have taken my contacts out. I would have gone and, like, sat with you and stuff. So I was oh, like, yeah, update. So I was like, okay. I can hear now. <laughs> oh, good. No, but I was like, okay, well, this is good because, well, she won't be alone and sick, you know? Mm-hmm. So that's my thoughts around that, but. Yeah. Um,. No, I don't know. It's, uh, I I one hundred percent acknowledge that what goes on in your head and then like what like the actions that come out are like not the same thing. Was that the pasole? Yeah. Oof, that was spicy. I bet. Yeah. That pasole for dinner. But I, but I acknowledge that. So like I'm aware of it. It just like I think because of past experiences and friendships and also relationships that is the number one contributor of like them not succeeding. What? Like disassociated, disassociated. One party disassociating. Disassociativeness. Is that a word? I don't know. It is now though. Period. But yeah, it's like, um, and again, maybe I'm like, like I'm like self reflecting here. Like maybe I'm too much. Like that's what, I feel sometimes like, oh, maybe I'm I'm being too much. So like, let me step back because if I'm too much, then maybe this is like, I tried to give reason to it. Like maybe that this is why it's like, they're like stepping back a little bit. You know what I mean? Mm. So like, maybe I'm being too much. So let me like chill out. So then maybe I'll start disassociating. And then in your head, you'll be like, well, what the fuck? Because in your head, like nothing's wrong. And you'll be like, well, what the fuck's going on? And then, so that, just that's where the problem like exists that's where it gets created and it's just it sucks i've had this happen to me like a lot yeah in my life yeah and i think that's that's where i th- a lot of our like <laughs> our, i don't want to say our arguing because we don't argue i just feel like our, a lot of like yeah. um like bickering has been from lately is like i and uh, i think that like we're chilling. I think we're fine. But there's 
something that I'm doing wrong to you. Not even not even to you, but like I'm doing wrong that I don't think I'm doing wrong. It's like does that make sense? It's really <laughs> tough because like the thing is is like I want more of you. Yeah, but I. That's what it is. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough because that's a weird. Um, it's like not a problem, but it's it maybe is you know. Yeah. So. Yeah. I'm gatekeeping myself. Yeah, and in terms of the podcast, like at that time, it really did feel like. Like, I was coming up with all the ideas and. I was editing and I don't know. I was getting really excited about like our views and our followers. I just felt like I had no one to share that with. And I was like, well, what the fuck? Because like I have a co-host, so I should be able to share it Yeah. with her. But I felt like I couldn't because at Jeez. the same time it's like, I know here you are with the post and I didn't want to like make you all sad. I'm like, well, fuck, I'm kind of like in a rock and a hard place right now because like, Yeah. Yeah, and this is like what we talked about in the last episode. So yeah. that I mean, I definitely and I, didn't I understand. Make this episode about this is just like. And I agree. Don't cry. No, I'm not crying. Don't I just cry, like cry, cry, cry. <laughs> you need a clip of my way. I will cry. Not, fucking cry. Bro, the day that I cry on this podcast is like something <laughs> fucked up. <happened. laughs> yeah. No, me too. Because. You've cried on this podcast. <laughs> no. I cry like every other You're episode. You're sensitive, Sally. <laughs> I cry like every other um, episode. Uh, I, I don't know. I again. think I think we just like we'll get. I don't know. We need to like talk more. I agree. And like off camera, because like I think that's the main, the main thing. Yeah. Just need to talk more. But I want you to like. I don't know. It's almost like a status check. Like, I feel. Like, do you still like me? Like, we still friends? That's how it feels for me. I'm quite unsure. I'll send you one every Friday. <laughs> God, I'm a needy bitch. Yeah. I'm the woman in this relationship. <laughs> no. I am. You're, you're just. I'm not just. I'm Justine. <laughs> no, I just It's like for someone who like loves friends Cause you love friends mm -hmm. You like don't want to hang out with them <laughs> Like I don't fuck. I really don't Um, I don't know why But if you were like Yo Want to play Minecraft? Like hop on a Discord server. What are we twelve? Um, hop the fuck off Minecraft like that. We have. So if you were evolved. like, yo, want to play? Want to hop on a Discord call and play Minecraft? I'd be like, fuck yeah. Yeah, but why do I gotta ask? Why don't you ask? Maybe you don't I have will. To ask. Oh, I made a server. I even made a Minecraft server. Let's not talk about that though, because I don't know if it died. Hmm. Um. But anyways, I don't know. I genuinely don't know. This has been such a dramatic podcast. I know. <laughs> what we were talking about earlier. What? Let's like crack some jokes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I really wanted to be funny this episode because we haven't been funny in a while. Well, yeah. We're like, we've been having like been really serious conversations. Having like, yeah. And which is fine. But, you know, we're like, but yeah, people let's, like let's, them. let's have like a lighthearted episode. People like them, though. Like, people like this shit because, like, what I'm saying to you right now is real, some real shit. You know what I thought about? What? And it's not it's not an original idea, but I thought we could do it for, like, clips. Okay. Okay, so you, you know how, like, half the things on TikTok right now is a clip, and then right next to it is, like, a Subway Surfers video or, like, a sand yeah. cutting video. We need yeah. to do that yeah, for our episodes do, we or our clips. That. We need to do yeah. that. That's, um, people's attention spans are getting like worse. Guess worse what? Worse. It works on me. I'm sad if I see a Subway Surfers video attached to a video. Of course it works on me. <laughs> I'm right there and I'm well, like. fucking make the edit. I'm like, oh. And if you don't want to post it. like I'm going to attach it to this clip right here. 
Did he just jump over that little barrier thing? Yeah. It's like, oh, so wow. He sure did. Look at that little subway <laughs> surfer's guy. He's, he's, he's doing, doing really thing. good. Dun, hmm. dun, dun. How does the song go? Dun, 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 I don't know. I've never played dun. subway surfers. Say psych right now. Did you ever play Temple Run? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah, Temple yeah. Run Temple Run Run's a well, subway surfers for the Gen what was Zs. Doodle Jump. Did you ever play Doodle Jump? No, I played Flappy Bird. Okay, everyone played Flappy Bird. Dude, didn't the guy like kill himself? What? Or something? The creator of Flappy yeah. Bird? No shot. I don't know. There's, I, I, that might not be right, but there's some drama behind the Flappy Bird. Guy. And if it's not, you just like pulled that out of your Yeah, house. yeah, 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 definitely. <laughs> no, 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 something happened with I that. I feel like something did happen. Like, like he, and then they like banned, they, the game's not available anymore. Like, No way. I, I'm pretty sure. Something happened with that. We have to investigate. Yeah. Agree um, to disagree investigates. What was Flappy I going to say? A tragedy. Did, were you on Vine? Yeah. Did you like ever make vines? Dude, fuck yeah. I had one go viral one time. No way. Like viral in the sense like. But okay, back then viral was like 100 likes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, so, so like, not like, not like how we've like gone viral. Not like today's viral. Okay. But like everyone in the school saw the vine. Oh, that's viral. <laughs> and they would come up to me and be like, dude, that fucking vine you made was, was fucking it? funny. It was like me and my best friend at the time. He like, it was like, it's so stupid. It was like me in a bed and I was like. I keep hearing noises in my closet and then like it skipped to him and he came out all gay and he was like, what's that happen? Like it was so dumb. And it went viral. And it went viral and people like laughed at it. Oh my God. Yeah. Humor was weird. I, oh my God, I remember I posted a vine. Um, I was just like learning something new on the piano and it was, the, you know the opening piano like to um fuck what's that Matt Macklemore song oh when I was in the third grade I, I thought, that, that, I, I would, thought that I was gay, gay that one bro when I was, I was like in the third grade new on the piano. I thought I was gay everyone thinks they're gay in the third grade I never actually that's wrong everyone thinks they're gay bro that's like a real when did you come out of straight <laughs> when I saw Charlie's Angels with Drew Barrymore and Cameron Diaz That's and Lucy Liu, oh, that was like, I was like, "What's this thing in my pants? <laughs> my pee pee's tall." <laughs> Whoa, wait, yeah, Charlie's Angels, dude, that movie was fucking horny as shit. They really objectified those women. I like recently it's watched. Awesome. When did I? Wa- I feel like I watched that recently. Like it's still fresh in my brain. Maybe it's just because it had that much of an impact. Dude, that on movie me. was horny for no reason. Hmm. Like Drew Barrymore in that movie. Why is it so hard to accept the party is over? Wow. That was like, Cameron Diaz was like the hottest one out of the three, like on paper, but. That movie didn't do nothing for her. The mask did more for her. Wrong. Fiona. She was. No, me. bro. I'm saying about her hotness. <laughs> oh. She was fucking fire in the mask. <laughs> nah, Drew Barrymore, Drew Barrymore stole the show on Charlie's Angels. Charlie's Angels. Yeah. I like how that one guy like cut their hair and was like. Yeah. I remember so weird. That. Like, the, just like that alone. Made me know he was a villain. Yeah. Like, like as a kid, oh. I was like, that's not normal yeah. behavior. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah. That's weird, right? Yeah. He like accidentally cut it off and was just like, God, that's giving me like the heebie jeebies. So I don't know weird, why. bro. It's fucking dad from Back to the Future. Damn. Yeah. Um, Rip Vine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Vine. No. Yeah. Dude, Vine, a lot of. But Vine humor is like. Top oh, it's top tier. That, that, I think, is Vine, like, specifically, is, I think, the reason, one of the reasons why we have sh- such a short attention span in terms of 100%. social hundred percent. Six seconds. They like, were training. You had to be funny in six seconds. They were training our our brains right yeah. then and there. This is how long like, these people can pay attention. And then, like, with TikTok, like, if it doesn't hit you within the first three seconds, like... I'm it kinda, oh damn, my god bro. I'm so guilty like I fall victim yeah, I just, to that all the time 
even if it's like a sound, if a sound hooks me, if mm-hmm. not, I'm just like, or like I read the caption in like 0.2 seconds. If it, if it's not in front of me, like I fall, oh my God, like I do this all the fucking time. I'm scrolling. Yeah. Like it's like Twitter to me at that point. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh dude, I love the, um, I'm like, people have a problem with it, but because they think it's creepy, but I love the algorithm. Because when I like go to a page that I really like, like like a woodworking or oh my god, and then dudes, it comes up like, yeah, and the then it starts coming video. up. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude! I sometimes don't like that because sometimes like someone will send me something like you, it'll send me like some like creepy ass shit, like some of that alien stuff. Oh, you watched it? Yeah, and then it'll come on my for you page, and I'm like. <laughs> Like, I will watch it if it's sent to me sometimes. Because you send me some shit sometimes, and I'm just like, why did I watch that? Yeah, but yeah, she like, ghosts me, dude. Yeah, but you know, because... She ghosts me hard, bro. I don't send anyone TikToks. You leave me on red more than anybody I know. <laughs> like, it's so well, sad. no. This is when I started to do that to you on TikTok. When you sent me a picture of someone who was riding a horse, and they accidentally shot their fingers off. Or, like... Oh, he was roping. He, okay, he accidentally, the, like, the rope, the rope burn the, cut his yeah, finger. Yeah, and he showed it, yeah. I'm oh, sorry. I, I gagged IRL. For real? Yeah. I was, and then I Can you cleared, react? No, no. And then Why I not? cleared the app and Just locked, do a dramatization. locked my phone. And I was like, that is enough of that for the Were day. Were you mad at me? Huh? Were you mad at me? No, I was just like, why? Why? Like, <laughs> I could have gone my whole life without seeing that video. <laughs> Um, well, it's kind of like if I had to see it, you had to see it. But did you see that article that was like, uh, some TikTok employees can pick who goes viral? Yeah, TikTok. That's crazy. You hey, love us. TikTok. They love us. They love us. I like will literally do unspeakable things for a viral video. She will. <laughs> she will. Mm, no, I will. But I will. He will. <laughs> Um, um, how can I lose if I'm already chose? Okay, don't bring up <laughs> Ice Spice right now. Sorry. We were having our, Sorry. we were having a whole discussion about Ice Spice before we the camera started rolling, and I was kind of like, okay, listen. <laughs> no, so like, here's my, the thing. Can I can I set interrupter, my bro? Can, no, because I You're have turning to, into me. I know. Episode one. Can I can go I ahead, set the ahead. scene? So set the let scene. Let me set the scene for y'all really quickly. I love to play like. Good fun music before we're we're filming, for just the vibes, right? I right, I always do that. Yeah. Okay. She thinks it's H and M. Fuck off! I don't. So I hit play. I spice. I choose my girl. I spice. He's like, um, actually, I spice. I don't, well, this lyric doesn't technically make sense. I'm like, fuck off! I'm just jamming. <laughs> I didn't say it like that. I said, damn, that's a bar, but one that you can't sit and think about. That's what I said. You're like, it, it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't. <laughs> and th- this how is can the- I choose if I'm already chose? Wait, what? Is that what it is? How can I lose? How can I lose? No, she says, how, how can, can I, I choose? How can I choose if I'm already chose? It doesn't make sense. That's what I'm telling you. Wait, that's not the lyric. I swear to God. Is that the lyric? That probably is the lyric. Yes. But anyway. And you were sitting there like, oh my God. No, oh, yeah. This is some fucking Tupac shit, bro. I did not She's say that. She's the next generation Tupac, bro. I literally did J. Cole, Kendrick, and it's literally Ice Spice you right behind. You did that. You did that. No. Joey. I didn't do that. I you said J. Cole did that. and Kendrick. Oh my God. I would not be having this reaction. No, listen. No. I didn't say she was behind Kendrick no, and J. Cole. I didn't either. I I was just like, oh my I god, she's kidding. so good. And then you're like, there's J. Cole, there's Kendrick, and then there's this. I'm like, that is like, that's not that. No, I was saying I'm like, that it's I not grew that up deep on, on like. So did I. And I'm just saying, I'm just listening to her have a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. And then you're like, you're basic. <laughs> I yeah. Was like, okay, yeah. I am, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're basic. Anyways, hard. um, by I was just saying that it's hard. I was just saying that rap nowadays is like it's TikTok, like bro, like it's sick, it's 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 clips. They just they want to just spit some bars that they can put in a TikTok video, and that's what I was saying. Like we had like had I not necessarily grown up listening to like 2014 
I'm crying out of this conversation, dude. 2014 J. Cole. Shit, 2014 uh, Kendrick. Poet um, justice. Poet I, justice. Like, if we didn't get that, I might have, have fallen for the whole TikTok <laughs> rap thing. And be like, oh shit, this is fire, bro. Like, but no, I can't, bro. I just, I don't know. But it's fine. It's fine to jam with, but I ain't gonna be walking down the street, like, listening to that shit by myself. Me this morning. <laughs> But, but I was, also, I maybe. Was, I was walking to the beat of a uh, damn, she in a mood. <laughs> like, damn, she in a mood. And I was like, you see a homeless person, you're like, how can I choose if I already chose? <laughs> and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Like, damn, I was just she saying it's hard for me because that's my palette. You thought I was spilling you? But when she, like, no, but when she put it on, I was like, oh, okay. Right. No, mm, right. Mm, mm. Yeah, my pussy was popping. That shit was popping. And she has a song. Uh, I was telling you, she has a song with uh, a remix, I think. With they peeled my muffin back, back blue. You're still going. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> um, she has a remix with what? Pink, and a who? Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers. Pink Panthers. She's good. Yeah, I love Pink Panthers. <laughs> Have you seen those memes? Like, her concerts are going to be like 10 minutes. Because each of her songs are like yeah. two minutes or less. Yeah, bro. I'm like, I'm a that's, that's the thing that I don't like is like, oh, God. And the thing about TikTok music is like people are posting like videos where they're doing like they're playing their new song for like a celebrity or something and getting their reaction. And I'm like, bro, this is so planned and fake. Like like Kim Petras played her new song for Megan Trainer, And Megan oh, Trainer was like, that. Megan Trainer was like, I'm like, bro, and the fucking song was ass. I she she literally said like "burr" or some shit like that. <laughs> and and um, I was like, this is ass. This is definitely like the third take of this of them filming this video. Megan Trainer's music is fucking soulless, and just fucking has no soul whatsoever. And that's what all TikTok music is, and it's so fucking frustrating, bro. But if I'm in the club. And I've had a few drinks. That shit's going to hit. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's fine. Everyone can have their own music taste. That's all I was saying. <laughs> That's all I was saying. Uh, and I've I've gotten in a bad habit of like fucking up people's vibes by overanalyzing. Really? And I'm trying to do. This is why you don't talk to me because. Oh. This is. No, this no, is, no, 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 no. This is an issue. Keep that going. I yeah, have. no. This is an issue that I have. Mm. Just lay my shit out on the table. Right. Roast me. Burn me. Why would I? Why? Maybe, maybe it's that you don't want to spend time because I overanalyze things and ruin shit for you and send you videos where dudes get fingers cut off. Maybe I'm in the wrong here. <laughs> <sighs> just I'm just self-reflecting right now. I need a haircut. This is what I've gotten. I cut your hair. No, don't oh. touch my hair anymore. What? Don't touch my hair anymore. Did I fuck it up? Yeah. My, did I not tell you Mm-mm. that my, my hair started? She was like, <laughs> I, I need to know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I like, oh. Hey, I ain't a stylist. <laughs> and I was, I was like, like, are you sure? I was like, oh. She's like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> but I mean, it was for fun, right? Your hairstylist, like, she had it. She was like, she's like, now why is it doing all this? Why it look like a pulse? God, what's going on here? Holy shit! It looked like a little pulse. She she went and called the other stylist and the stylist. There you go. Come look at this. <laughs> and then there was like five stylists like looking at your hair that I fucked up. <laughs> is that what happened? Yeah, pretty much. Sorry. It's okay. Did you tell him to go watch the video? No. I didn't even, I was just like, please just cut it. I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> hey, man. And then I told her I did the bangs. And she's like, she's like, you need to stop. Like, is it like a 3 a.m. haircut type thing? And I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, you, you really need to stop. Like, you're really like self-harmful in terms of like, you're, like, why why do women do that? It's just like, I just need to cut my hair. <laughs> well, mine like, is definitely like, a woman thing. Is it? I don't know a man who's been like, fuck this shit. Well, 
I'm not doing fuck this shit. No, but a man would... And, like, like, I'm not... Because we have shorter hair, so it's, like... Right, but I'm also, like, making it stylish According to your stylist, you're not. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, your stylist is like, mm, baby. Skip, skip. Let's just skip. What have you done, darling? I'm this shit's a goddamn mess. The back of your head's ridiculous. Not the best idea. What are your thoughts on Kill Bill? His new girlfriend's next. It's a good song. I'd get you. Is it about Bill Nye? Yes. She fucked Bill Nye? Yeah, she fucked Bill, Bill Nye. Bill, Holy Bill, fuck, my Bill, 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 Bill Nye. His mom's a guy. Bill Nye, he has one eye. Bill Nye. I can't say I know those lyrics. Yeah, we used to make, we used to like, it's like the Jingle Bell thing. We used to switch up the lyrics. Mm. Bill, 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 Bill. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's a good song. Yeah. Um, wow. Bro, so much has happened. <clears throat> like, SZA dropped her album. That's old news, but I just feel like it's still a cultural moment. Um, which I still don't feel was worth the four year wait, but. That is an unpopular that is, opinion. That is an unpopular opinion. And for my... For my... Oh, for your weight, for, it was worth maybe two. For my fellow SZA lovers out there, let me make one thing straight. Let me make one thing clear, sorry. I do Shh. not... I do not stand by what this man says. She will be stabbing me when the cameras turn off. She showed me the knife already. Right. It, the blade's only like four inches. I'll be fine. But nonetheless, I will be getting stabbed. Anyways, continue. No, I'm just, but I don't stand by that. I just—it was great. It was a great album, but like four your fucking years. But I get that. But that's she released like so fault. many singles in between. No, she didn't. Yeah, she did. She released like three. That's, that's a not, single a year, and they each a popped, single a year, and they each popped the fuck off, bro. A single a year. Didn't, that's didn't not. The album that's like the so little music. Yeah, but for then, an artist. But then for like it didn't it didn't feel like like good days. That came out, and then that lasted, like, two years. And I rode that wave for two fucking yeah, I know. years. That's, that just sure. shows, like, the quality of artist sure. she is. But sure like, got yeah. leaked, but then she actually dropped it, like, a yeah, couple months yeah, before yeah. the album. Right? That's what yeah. happened with Sure. Yeah, it got leaked on SoundCloud. Yeah. Well, people were listening to it for a while. That's, oh, that's why. Yeah. I was like, wait, why is she barely releasing this? Like, I've, I could have sworn I heard this, and then I was like, No, yeah, wait, I love SZA, but I was it like. Got leaked. You know, like. I don't know. It, there should be more songs on there. Like, I don't know. I just, I just would have thought there would be more. Like, mm-hmm. there's skippable songs. Mm-hmm. There's skippable songs. Okay. I thought there would be no skippable songs. Okay, that's the thing. Okay. There's some on there, like Blonde. Like, what the fuck is that Facebook shit, bro? Like when that came out, I was like. Wait, what am I listening to? There's skippable shit on there. You know? And that's an unpopular opinion also. But it's like, Frank Ocean's just jerking us around. Like, he really is. He can continue to do so. Yeah. I guess. What are your thoughts on him headlining Coachella? There could have been someone else to do that. Damn, you are just... You just have the worst takes today. It's not a bad take. <laughs> yeah. Is he planning on releasing an album? Like what? He could be. Like for all we know, there's he could someone be. that like deserves it more than him. To headline Coachella. Yes. There could have been like another artist that has, bro. Bad Bunny. Were you gonna, yes. Were you gonna say? <laughs> yes. I knew you were gonna say Bad Bunny. He's worked so incredibly hard. That dude be has given us like an Coachella. album That'd be and list. multiple chart if he had like chart Coachella. topping singles a year. He's given us an album of a year for the last like three years. Like that's I think he dropped two albums in like twenty twenty. Like what the fuck? That's a hard working dude, you know? And Frank Frank Ocean kinda like he respects the art and everything, but as far as his fans go, in terms of, like, giving them product, he fucking sucks at that, bro. Like, damn, bro, it's hard to be a Frank Ocean fan because, like, you're just waiting, you know? But his songs are so good, so you, like, sit on them. I was like, bro, give us more, you know what I mean? And, like, he literally has said, like, I don't give a fuck about what you want. Like, <laughs> he literally came out and, like, said that. 
So like why He's like me for real For real Yeah he's literally like, I don't give a fuck What my Like what I, you I'm, want I'm gonna I'm just do, like I'm, I'm gonna like do my own thing And it's like fuck Because I cannot I cannot It's hard for me to respect That sometimes Because like as an artist You wouldn't get anywhere Without your fans mm-hmm. Like you just You literally wouldn't be Where you are If people didn't like you And like your music and so then to turn around and like kind of shit on them and be like, well, I don't really care what you think. Well, you should care what they think. He's like said that like I don't yeah. care. Like you should care what they think because, well, they made you. They made you. And of course, if you have an ego, you could say, well, I made myself, you know, but it's like you didn't. Like, yes, you made the product and but people have to like it, you know, and those are your fans. Those are your day ones, you know, and like. To not consistently feed them, like that's what bad. That's why I like Bad Bunny so much because he just fucking feeds his fans. Like he really, he really, really feeds his fans, and like that takes hard work because you consistently have to be in the studio. And then oh, I'm gonna do a world tour, but also like be working on a new album. Like that's that's tough. That's yeah. tough. And so that is why I don't think he deserves to be headlining Coachella. But you know what? He's Frank Ocean, and. It's a name brand and people are going to go because they're basic and they're just going to go listen to some fucking songs that have been out for fucking, when did Blunt come out? 2016? Fucking seven years, right? I don't know. Now, if he's releasing a new album or working on new music, whatever, and that's kind of like part of the marketing deal for the new project, then that's different. But if he just plays all like the same shit, does a couple classic covers. But like he never performs. So is it the same shit? Yeah. And what the fuck? Like, why don't you perform? Like, that's so stupid. It's like he wants to be as far away from his fans as possible. Like, literally. It's really weird. I think everyone is under this like Frank Ocean, like kind of daze. But if you step back and think about it, you're like, damn, this guy doesn't give a fuck about me. And I'm like, I would sell my fucking arm to go see him live and he doesn't give a fuck about me at all. And I'm not not down with that. No matter how good your music is, I'm not down with you like shitting on your fans. It's kind of making you think. I, You're kind of like hmm. no, but I'm I'm over here like I don't care if he doesn't give a fuck about me. I would sell my arm and my leg to go see him. Yeah, that's weird behavior. It's not weird behavior. I would just like to go see him. <laughs> and then there's like artists it doesn't, like it doesn't affect me like well okay that much. so you pay an arm and a leg to go see him. You go and let's just say he's having a bad day and he's like you know what show's canceled, just walks off, which is totally something he would do. Mm-hmm. Then what? <laughs> I mean, obviously that's shitty, but like yeah, it's fucking shitty. You fucking paid the flight. You ain't getting that refund. They might Coachella, refund. It. Like there's a bunch of other artists out there. Right, but the headliner just fucking shit on everybody. Yeah, but and like yeah, there's other artists. But you went to go see him. You know what I mean? Isn't SZA headlining too? I'd go be like SZA. Is she headlining? And I thought it was ba- I thought it was him and Bad Bunny. Oh. But um, I don't know. I have weird. Th- I just think you. I just think you should love your fans and just treat them right, you know? Because, like, like if I get the chance to have meet and greets, I will stay to meet every single person who paid for the meet and greet and make sure they... Clip this now, have, guys, and use this no, seriously. against and, him and whenever make sure, he does have his meet and greets. And make sure they, they have a time where I'm looking at them in the eye and they feel, like, special. You know what I mean? Because we're, we're just human Are beings. Are meet and greets weird? No. You don't think paying someone... I don't know. They're kind of weird to me. I see what you're saying. Like paying to go see someone? I don't know. Well, I mean, you're like a... As like an artist, you're kind of like a product. I think that's... Yeah. But that's, I think, the importance of the meet and greets because you get to look that person in the eye and you're like, look... You've had this image of me in your head, kind of like an aura. It's happening because you paid. Yeah. But the thing is... I mean, you're just saying, like, I would pay an arm and a leg to go see Frank Ocean. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing is, is, like, that's where the product part is. Yeah. But in that moment, that's not what you're thinking about. In that moment, you know, 
the artist is making them feel, you know, if they're nice, you know, they're making them feel like a fucking human being, you know? Right. Hmm. Like, yeah. Interesting. So, I don't know. I think as long as they're being nice and just genuine and it really gets to show, like, the humanity of, like, you know? Huh. Like a person. Right. And Frank Ocean would never do that because he doesn't give a fuck about you. I don't give a fuck about him. Yes, you do. I I do, yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. That was a lot. I feel like so much. I feel like I'm going to get so much hate from this. Yeah. We should actually do that. We should make a clip where I just say some outlandish shit and post it so that I can get hate. No, watch it. I just know people are going to be like, W take. <laughs> w what? W take. Oh. <laughs> like, like, it'll end, like it'll end up. Wait. Like benefiting the fuck benefiting? out of you. No. <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. No, I'm definitely pissing people off. But here's the thing, though. It's like, I'm, I feel like I'm kind of right because, like, there's certain facts there's certain facts that are just true. Like an artist doesn't get where they're what doesn't get anywhere unless they have fans. There needs to be someone buying the music. There needs to be someone streaming the music. So as an artist, if there's no one streaming your music, well then you're not gonna get big, you're not gonna get famous, right? But if there's consistently people streaming and liking your shit, following you on Instagram and shit, like the the real people, that's where the fame comes from. And why would you not care about that? Like, as a, like, they're, yeah. like, funding your dreams. Yeah. Like, that's, like, us saying, like, I don't give a fuck about you listening right now. Like, if you're watching right now, I, I, don't give, so much. I used to don't give a fuck about you. I love you so much. Yeah, like, um, I spice, this podcast would be I nothing, I know you're bro. listening right now, girl. I, I know you give a fuck about me. Can you cover this? It's, it's offending me. It's my armpit. I don't like it. And I literally <laughs> have an undershirt under. It's too much skin, okay? You're doing too much. No, um, yeah, I used to, doesn't give a fuck about you if you're watching. Especially you, Ahmed. Oh, <laughs> don't do my, don't do my guy Ahmed like that. Hey, our number one viewer, our number one viewer, Ahmed. I had to give you a shout out. Um, yeah, that'd be like saying like, we don't give a fuck about the people that listen to our no, because why do you have to bring Ahmed into this? Because. Like, that was personal. Yes, because we have to make it personal to realize how shitty it is. Damn. Like, imagine if I said I didn't give a fuck about Ahmed. That's shitty. Take that back right now. I love Ahmed. <laughs> He's our number one fan. And, like, we care about you, you know? We like that you tune in every Wednesday. And if I came out and made, like, a statement where I was like, I don't like our viewers. Like, what the fuck? Like, how did that How did that slide? How did that get past everyone? Like, I don't understand how he said that and people were still like, mm, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, weird, I don't know. Weird behavior. Weird. I think there's some artists that have like a cult like following. Like no matter what they do, they'll just always ride for them. And I saw that live whenever the whole R. Kelly thing was happening. There were still some of his fans that <laughs> were like. There's R. Kelly fans out there? Yeah, R. Kelly was a huge R&B singer, dude. I know he like was, legends. but it's just... Not I our time. Not our time. A little bit before, like, early 2000s, late 90s. Like, he was big. And, like, when all that shit was happening with him, like, there were still some of his female fans that were, like, ride or die. Like, still. Even when he went in jail, bro, people were visiting him. Like, that's some crazy, weird shit. Like, that's weird. And I feel like... I feel like Beyonce has some of those fans. I feel like Frank Ocean definitely has some of those fans. I don't know who else. Who's like an artist that like. Um, I don't know. Probably like me. No, like an artist <laughs> that like. Yeah, me. Oh. Did you not hear that note I hit in, in my solitude that one time? Oh, yeah. Dude, that was fire. I gained like. I told her, a let's, thousand, let's hundred, record hundred, right now. We have the thou- mic, we have the interface. Let's drop the album. Put me on the track. I used to gonna drop an album. Already chose like, bro. Say that to yourself like three times. Okay. Realize how crazy that bar is. 
Exactly. It goes so fucking crazy. Snooze. I used to check out. Can you see out. my muscles? Let me see. Look, I've been working out. Damn. That's it bigger than mine. It's literally just a fucking bone. That's literally <laughs> bigger than mine. It's I ain't literally. even going to flex right now because it's, bl- it's bigger than mine. It's going to fuck me up. It like hurts to do that. I ain't going to do it because it really is. Anyways. Um... What are some highs, lows, and buffaloes that you've had this past two weeks? Um. Ooh, can I do my high? You can, yeah. That's okay. what I was saying. So my high is I got a raise. Really? I got a raise. Um, Shit. And it wasn't like, here's a 50 cent raise. Here's a dollar raise. Here's a two dollar raise. Dude, wait, corporate companies are fucked for that. It was a three dollar raise. Dude, companies are fucked for that. Can they you imagine, are. like, because you know they don't do it in person, it's like on paper. Yeah. But can you imagine, like, your boss be like, I'm giving you a raise, and they hand you, like, a quarter? Like, that's fucked. That is so Like, if you put fu- it in that. No, okay, sorry. I lit- It literally brought me back to whenever we were, we were, like, working, you know? Yeah, I don't say where, but I'm yeah. not going to, but, like, at the, you know? Yeah. And they're like, no, but yeah, 17 like, cents. Yeah, but and it's on like, paper, so you're like, oh, cool. But, like, imagine if they were physically giving you 17 cents. You'd, like, you'd be like, what the fuck is this, bro? This fucking, like, thing. What is this? <laughs> 17, he's just raised 17 cents. Even a cents. dollar is, like, kind of nuts. Like, imagine if they just hand you a dollar, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Damn, bro. Corporate America's fucked, bro. But three dollars. I ate that shit up too. I was like, seventeen cents. Let's fucking like, go. Oh, I can get a fucking large. <laughs> I know. When I go places, I can get I can a get large. A benchy. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I uh, ate that shit up. That is so fucking funny to think about. Um, that's yeah, I got it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. That actually kind of takes away from your raise. <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, it makes it I'm better. Sorry. Yeah, because that's a pretty sick raise. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good I, raise. Yeah. Um, what is what is your high? Um, well, it was my birthday. Happy birthday. Yesterday. Happy so birthday. So when this comes out, Did Sunday. Um, the way you didn't want to say the day, the way you didn't want to say your age, and the way you said absolutely all of that. I'm an enigma, bro. <laughs> Maybe that's not my age. Maybe I lied. Right. We don't know. I think. Yeah, so it was your birthday. Yeah, it was my birthday. And I'm really happy because I got this really awesome vintage um, Brooks and Dunn shirt, which is fucking the best shirt I've ever owned in my life. Shout looks, out Jaxie and Miss so Cindy sick. for getting it for me. Like, look at this, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, look at Ronnie Dunn's hair, dog. When the sun goes down on my side of town. A lonesome feeling comes through the something. Bro, that song makes me want to dance right now. Let's fucking dance right now. Um, Can I have this dance, miss? What were we doing? Oh, our highs, lows, and buffaloes. Highs, lows, and buffaloes. Um, and the song. Yo, yeah, this fucking shirt, dude. And That's I think, sick. I think, like, I'm really, I'm really think, I really, we should. I've said this before, but. It's okay if you don't do it, because I'm going to do it. But I really give a fuck about what I wear on this podcast, mm-hmm. because when our video went viral, like, some people were, like, asking about my shirt in that clip. I remember I remember seeing those comments. Yeah, so, like, it's working. And I really take pride in my shirts. Okay. Yeah. So, I'm, this is my favorite shirt right now, by the way. In fact, it's dirty. And I put it on specifically to wear for this episode because I wanted it to be on camera. Look, like, smell it. It doesn't smell bad. Just smell it. Smell like barbecue. It does smell like barbecue. Yeah. I definitely smell the barbecue in there. Sorry about that. But it doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. It's just like, damn. It smells like. Smoky. Smoky. Yeah. That's like the perfect word to describe that. Yeah. Um, and then I've, my lows, uh, no lows. I have another high. I, I got my stems back from my studio Me too. session. Oh, what stems? The I don't know why back. I was thinking that was a W2 form. 
Oh, Let's shit. not talk about our taxes right now. I don't know why. I don't I know got that why today. I correlated those two. No, I got the audio together. tracks from the studio session, so I'm be putting that together. I'm gonna send it off to Nashville. Yes. And hopefully, I'll be getting that back within like the next two weeks, and it'll be done. <laughs> wait, that's so. That's kind of crazy, bro. Yes. We're gonna have steel guitar. Oh fuck yeah! I can't wait for everyone to hear. I can't wait to hear it in its entirety. I can't wait to hear it. I feel like I haven't heard that song in a really long time, like yeah. all together, you know. Yeah. And then it's gonna even sound crazier because there's gonna be like real drums on it now like it's i don't know it's weird i don't know yeah that's gonna sound crazy um dude yeah so we'll see what happens with that i'm gonna book another session at a, at a different place and talk to him about some management shit and yeah how exciting things are going well i've had no lows have you had a low um, I'm trying to think. The stuff you said about Ice Spice should be your low. No. What stuff? When you were like praising that bar. That was tough. I wasn't praising it. I was just like, Okay, I'm sorry. it's catchy. I'm sorry. I'm being annoying. You are. You know what? Fine. Last episode. Yes. Clip it. <laughs> <laughs> Clip it, chip it, post it. Dude, I really thought. It. How can I lose if I'm already choked? I really thought like we were gonna end the podcast. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. You heard it here first, guys. No, I did. Like I got scared. I was like, "Fuck, she probably don't want to do it no more." And I don't know. <laughs> it's it's. Why are you laughing? Because it's like crazy that like you were thinking all of this, and I was like. And you were like, Lottie, Lottie, Lottie. Lottie. literally, <laughs> the way we both did that. That's literally how I was. And I was like, I've been playing Minecraft right now. <laughs> la, 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 la. That's Demo's world. <laughs> oh, my God. It's, I'm sorry. And I'm also, like, delusional right now. Um, yeah. It's fine, I guess. Um, no, it's not. Guys, I feel bad. Put a, we got to put a poll out on, like, YouTube or something. Like, will we make it to episode 52? That's a year, right? That's a year. <laughs> Will we make it? Comment below. Do you think we'll make it? I'm gonna I fucking not hope so. Answer. If we don't make it, it'll be because I get so pissed off that I rage quit. That'll that's I could see that happening. Really? You'll just have to like reel me back. But you wouldn't want to, you'd be all pissed off. I have too big of an ego. I would be like, <laughs> he wanted to leave. Where'd you get that from? It would have. Ju- it would just. It would just come out. Did your ego? Yeah. I don't have an ego. Like when did this? I say you did? But I'm saying like, why do you have one? Like no, I don't be- have one. No, because you left, and then you said you would have to reel me back, and I said, ooh. That's like. Would you cry? Would I? Would I cry yeah. if you left the podcast? Yeah. No. If it affected our friendship, then yeah. Well, I mean, I feel like it kind of might. I don't think it will. If we if we stop doing the podcast to strengthen our friendship. Oh, that's or if No, or, I'm saying like it fucked up. Like, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm saying like, like if it ended badly, like. If it and if the this ended badly, yeah, I don't think we would let it affect our friendship. Yeah, we wouldn't. Yeah, it no. would be rough though for like a week or so. Mm. You don't think so, or would you want to talk about it like immediately and try and fix this shit? Because I feel like I'd be I at think least we'd, mad. I think we would like give ourselves a couple of days, but then if it turns into days, it could lead to longer. So maybe I'd want to like. Yeah, because like I feel talk, like if I wouldn't hear from it. you, then, like, well, I haven't heard from her, so. I think I'd want to, like, talk about it as soon as possible. Yeah. That's not something I would want to let, like, simmer. Yeah. You know? Damn, and bro. The- this podcast, like, <sighs> it's more, like, frenemies than I thought it was going to be. I knew you were Trisha, dude. I'm not <laughs> Trisha, though. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I am, but I feel like I'm also Ethan. We're like a little bit of both in our own ways. Yeah. Like you're like Trisha, but I'm also like Trisha. Oh, she like 
I saw this clip of her saying something. It was so funny. I can't remember though. So that was pointless. Yeah. Why did you bring it up? I if you couldn't no remember. Idea. I have no idea. God, I wish Wait, I knew. Wait, was it true she that she was in Scream? Is that true, <laughs> or did she make so. that? I think you she saw the up. clip, right? Yeah. Okay, because that looked really real. Was it real? No. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up. Because if she is, that's fucking funny. And she, if she gets killed by Ghostface, it's gonna be hilarious. Because I view Scream as like a funny movie. Like I don't view it like as a you serious. Think Scream is funny. Well, not funny, but I view it like more com comical than like a horror. Like I don't think it's scary. It's. I don't think it's scary. I think it's a. It's. It's like an a, entertaining. It's like, like a it, super meta like play on itself. I I don't know. It's a really good. Like it knows what it is, which I like, because when horror movies take themselves so seriously, they end up just being stupid. I think that's how why they're able to do so many of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because like they're literally like in the movie Scream. There's a movie called, uh, what's the movie? Um, oh, stabbed. Yes. Or stab or something like that. Yeah. Is it? I don't remember. It's like what it's something called, like that, it, and it's literally a mo Scream. In Scream. In Scream. That's so they're cool. like, yeah, it's meta. It's yeah. crazy. That's pretty cool. Um, but anyways. Um, you, lows. If you don't have any lows, it's totally fine. I, I don't think I, I have hope, any lows. I hope you don't have lows. I don't think I have any lows. I don't want that for you. Yeah, I don't think I have any. And I'm not going to go and like find one. <laughs> yeah, because then you bring up the low and you're like, fuck. Yeah, I feel like that was You're like, <laughs> shit. I do have a buffalo. Okay. So... My favorite so, game of all time. Yes. The Last of Us. Oh, that'd be my Buffalo too. Dude, that the is... The show came out and it's fucking... You know what I hate about the show? <sighs> <laughs> is, um... Listen, listen, listen. Can we just have one No, listen, thing, it's please? real. It's real. You know what I hate about the show? What? I hate that the biggest comment that everyone's making about it is that it's the best video game adaptation of all time. Because in my opinion, it's much more than that. Like, it's a good show. So I hate that it's kind of like being belittled right now to like the best video game adaptation of all time. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. This might be the best like survival but it is show. Though. It's a video game. No, I know, I know. But like also like, do you know how fucking hard it is to like adapt a video game and turn it into something that's just not a fucking direct copy of like the video game? Like they're, they're doing more. Like the first two episodes... They're yeah, they're pretty much like the game, would, but like they're they're. This is like a whole like, they're making it more than the game. Yeah, and I, I would like Uncharted like, I was a stupid fucking. That was a fucking flop. That half. was like. Sorry, but like. No, that was bad. And the video games are so good. That's not how you do. Like, oh my god, Uncharted. But this is like a whole thing they're building. Like they're like, like. If it weren't, like, let's just say The Last of Us didn't exist, mm -hmm. but they made a show called The Last of Us. Like, this is fucking still goaded. Like, it's still one of the best shows, like, ever made. Mm -hmm. But yes, there's a video game that it's kind of, like, adapting. I think that would be a more, like, controversial take if the, like, quite literally creator and director of the game wasn't a creator and director of the show. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So like, I don't think it's like that. Well, that's a, that's even tougher because as a creator director of the game and the show, it's fucking easy to just no, make it's the like game. It's, like again, did you say it's fucking easy to make the game. Yeah, like to kind of. Oh, I thought mirror, you were like injured. I was like, Dude, no, 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 no. I'm saying like to kind of like mirror what you did it with the game with the but show. But that's not what they're saying in that comment. They're saying it's that, but more. It's the video no, they're not game. saying the more. They're not. They're saying it's just the best video game adaptation ever made. Like, but I'm saying that it's more than that. You know? Yeah, I I don't know. I think that's just like you looking at the Ice Spice bar too long. Just like... Well, no, I just... That's the main thing that I'm hearing. Uh, like, the critics are raving. Oh, it's a better video game adaptation. Best video game adaptation. Best video game... I'm like, bro, let's start looking at this at, like, a show. Like, it's a really good, well-produced, well-acted, well-written show. Like, and as we get further along in the season, like, it might be one of HBO's, like, best shows. Like, up there with, like, Game of Thrones and shit. No, you got to remember, though, 
the creator of The Last of Us uh, also did uh, Chernobyl. Yeah. That fucking show was amazing. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. In the end, I just think it's going to end up being one of HBO's great shows. Did you see that TikTok? Where, like a lot of people are obviously comparing the show to The Walking Dead, right? I mean, that's a given. Yeah. Um, Man, fuck uh, The Walking Dead. But they're saying that like in season two, of the, I watched, I watched The Walking Dead. I never really, f- I don't. I never finished the show. I never finished the show. Um, but they're saying, like, in the second season of The Walking Dead, you find out there's no cure to the zombie apocalypse. In the first episode of The Last of Us, spoilers, but not really, she's the cure, right? Mm-hmm. So you have an ending to your show right there. Mm-hmm. Now you just have to let it all unfold. And, like, that's what we're, and I'm like, damn, like, that's yeah. low key, like, that's already well, like yeah, good by, television happening and well, good video gaming happening too I mean, at the time. You know what I'm saying? But like, yeah. But by saying there's like no cure, it kind of like writes the ending. You're like, well, well it fuck. just so all these like, characters that I don't really, I shouldn't give a fuck about because they're all gonna die. Yeah, like, it just, yeah. And then the only thing that's saving you is like thinking like, okay, they lied. They just don't think there's a cure, but maybe maybe there is. Like you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like. But, um, yeah, and then also the fucked up thing that's, like, fucking with me is, um, they recently found, like, a bacteria or, like, a fungus in flies that has turned flies into, like, zombies. No shot. It's literally the same thing that's happening in The Last of Us. No, okay, the beginning of the second episode, that was actually really scary. That was (laughs) so scary. What's fucked up is, like... This is like real. Yeah. When when like, she was like, Well, how many other like are there any factory workers missing? He was like, Fourteen. Hello. Oh my god. I got chills. I'm getting chills right she's now. She's right though. Like so the scared. the thing to do would bomb. was to bomb, you know, like that's one of those that's where like as a leader you have to be like, Okay, in the grand scale of things, we would lose six hundred thousand people, whatever. Compared to uh, the human race, mm, I can, that's I can that's a tough decision. decision. Like that I is, don't even know what I'm gonna have for breakfast in the morning, and then I walk out the door and that <laughs> is without eating anything. Tough. So like, uh, I think I would make the call. I could make the call. You would press the button, mm-hmm. even if I was included in the six hundred thousand. I would like I would accidentally press the button, like my phone. She knew she was gonna die. My phone would drop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She knew she was going to die, too. She's like, I want to go be with my family. Because she knew she was gonna, they were yeah. going to bomb that whole area. She literally yes. said that kid someone drank. Tough, dude. She knew. She accepted it. Oh, God. And then the way, t- uh, fucking, nah, we're, fuck that. We're discussing spoilers. The way that, like, Tess, like, died. Mm-hmm. She got sucked on. Yeah. Disgusting. Well. Is that how she dies in the game? Um, yeah, but I don't think we, like, really see her die. Her death. Why'd she get sucked on? Um, I I saw somewhere that she didn't move because if she would have moved, it would have killed her instantly, and she was still trying to light the place on fire. The thing that pissed me off is um, if she was knew she was gonna kill herself and had no problem doing that. There were a bunch of grenades. On I the know. Ground. I why was thinking just that like, too. If, I, if my lighter wasn't working, I've just been like, <laughs> yeah, you just grabbed the grenade. Like, <laughs> boom. Oh, fuck. Is that one of those little plot holes? Like, yeah, but then I think they did that so they could show us. Yeah. Show us the, the, the clicker. Yeah. And like what it, Oh man, those things are fucking scary as shit, huh? Yeah. The, and like what makes it worse is they can't, see but they can hear at least that stage of being like infected they i do you know the different stages Mm -mm. what's so cool is that they haven't really gone through that yet no i know that's yeah what's so cool is that i'm someone who's like known the game playing the played the game like know Mm -hmm. all this that and you're someone who's like experiencing everything for the first time Mm -hmm. So we're like coming together. We should talk about this like every week because it's so fucking. No, yeah, I'm down. This I like talking about The Last of Us. Me too. It's it's fun. I just safe. caught up today because today's Monday. It premiered yesterday, and I 
Man, that second episode was so good, bro. That's yeah. why, like, I'm I getting pissed off when they say, episode. when they say, like, oh, best video game. I'm like, bro, this might be HBO's finest moment. Like, th- if this show succeeds, HBO is going to content. It's like, bro, you don't understand what this does for TV. Because if a show like this can succeed, the way they produced it, the team that is behind it, the directors, the writers, all that, they're going to go on to give, like, HBO's going to be like, okay, you motherfuckers, here's more money. Like, make more shit. And so the quality of television, like, that's why I get so excited about it, is just going to go higher and higher and higher. And yeah. Well, they, like, they already do that with, like, the budget of fucking Game yeah. of Thrones. Is like, like crazy. Because they know how much... E- yeah. Went into, or like how much viewership and yeah. went into the like, first. Like, for example, yeah. The Sopranos came out and it was a hit. Yeah. When it got off the air, HBO put out a series of shows. Yeah. Um, vinyl. Um, they put out Boardwalk Empire, mm-hmm. which is an amazing show, right? Um, they put out. There's more shows. And a lot of the people on The Sopranos went off to do those shows. So, like, when HBO really gets a hold of some really awesome creators, they keep them, and they give them more money to do better shit, cooler shit. So and literally both of those actors were on Game of Thrones. So that's another good example. Game of Thrones. All those actors, fucking, they all got put in more HBO shows. Mm-hmm. Like, literally. Yeah. So that's kind of like why I get so excited because like you have no idea like people have no idea like if this show succeeds and it has a really good like run what this means for like the f- like future shows yeah. like that are going to come out like there's yeah. going to be better shows yeah. like so so yeah like yeah that's just it's awesome Part two where we just talk about the Last of Us for the entire I know seriously we can have a la- we can have a whole Last of Us episode it's crazy That's no yeah but uh, anyways. Anyways. That was a long episode. Yeah. But. It filled in for our. It's been like um, two weeks. So. Yeah. Uh, worth it. <laughs> yeah, it's only a month. Um, but anyway, um, thank you guys for watching um, thank you and all. listening. And listening. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you're following us on socials. Uh, make sure you're commenting and liking and sharing. Yeah. And yeah, I don't have um, anything else. Hmm, do I have anything else? The music's been playing, by the way. I forgot to say cute music. Oh. It's been playing. Cute music. It's been playing. Alrighty. We'll see y'all next so, week for episode 19. 19. I was trying to think about 19 oh, in Spanish. We're almost, almost at 20. We're almost at 20. But, anyways. Right, y'all. See you next week. Is that it for us? For us? Yeah. Alrighty then. And scene. <laughs> <laughs>